you're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received a congratulatory cable from His Majesty the King's representative for a charity work in youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. On the occasion of His Royal Highness being awarded the C3 Leadership Award granted by the 2021 C3 U.S. Arab Healthcare and Business Summit, His Highness Sheikh Nasser asserted that the award of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister represents a high level international recognition of His Royal Highness's leadership capabilities in various fields. His Highness Sheikh Nasser asserted that the great efforts made by his Royal Highness the Crown Prince are clear to the international community and represent a high and prominent international recognition by the American organization of His Royal Highness's capabilities in leading Team Bahrain to address the coronavirus. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the award confirms the role of His Royal Highness in developing and consolidating relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America at all levels and implementing the royal vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and spreading tolerance, coexistence, security and peace in the world. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also praised the efforts made by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in achieving the comprehensive development of the Kingdom in various fields and in setting the Kingdom's status high at all levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received a congratulatory cable from the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports First Deputy Chairman, Head of the General Sports Authority and Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of His Royal Highness being awarded the C3 Leadership Award granted by the 2021 C3 U.S. Arab Healthcare and Business Summit. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that the great efforts exerted by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince are clear to the international community. So His Royal Highness was granted this award as a high level international recognition of His Royal Highness's leadership capabilities in various fields, mainly in leading Team Bahrain to address the coronavirus. He also stressed His Royal Highness's role in developing and consolidating relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America and implementing the royal vision of His Majesty the King in spreading tolerance, coexistence, security and peace in the world. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Chairman of the current session of the Ministerial Council, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, chaired yesterday the GCC delegation in the joint ministerial meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, Sergei Lavrov, at the UN headquarters in New York City. During the meeting, both sides discussed the distinguished Gulf Russian relations and their development at all levels. They also reviewed areas of strengthening joint cooperation between the GCC countries and the Russian Federation based on the strategic dialogue mechanisms that were launched in November of 2011. Their Excellencies also also discuss political and security developments in the region, especially the latest security and humanitarian situation in Afghanistan and ways to achieve peace and resolve issues in the Middle East, particularly the Palestinian issue, the Iranian nuclear file and the Syrian crisis. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met yesterday at the headquarters of the permanent mission of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the UN, the Secretary General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Dr. Yusuf bin Ahmed. During the meeting, both sides reviewed ways to enhance joint cooperation and coordination between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation within the framework of joint Islamic action and serving the causes of the Islamic nation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met yesterday at the permanent headquarters mission of the Kingdom of Bahrain in New York, the head of political affairs of the American Jewish Committee, Jason Isaacson. During the meeting, they discussed ways of coordination and cooperation towards political issues of common interest, efforts related to promoting the principles of tolerance, peaceful coexistence, dialogue, and global cooperation, enhancing trust and mutual understanding, in addition to the latest developments in the region and prospects for achieving peace, stability, and prosperity in the Middle East. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, received yesterday at the headquarters of the Kingdom of Bahrain's mission to the UN a delegation from the Alliance of American International Jewish Organization on the sidelines of the 76th session of the UN General Assembly in New York. During the meeting, they discussed areas of cooperation and joint coordination to support the efforts of establishing peace and spreading the values of tolerance, peaceful coexistence and brotherhood in the Middle East in light of the atmosphere created by the signing of the Declaration of Peace, the Abraham Accords Agreement and the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel. Both sides stress the importance of making the Middle East a safe, stable and prosperous region for the benefit of all its people, of all religions and sects. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Excellency Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met today at the headquarters of the Singapore Mission to the UN. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Singapore, Mr. Vivian Balakrishnan, 
The foreign minister praised the advanced level of relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Singapore in all fields, pointing to the remarkable development witnessed in recent years, expressing the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to continue efforts to advance bilateral cooperation between both countries to broader horizons. For his part, the foreign minister of the Republic of Singapore praised the course of the existing relations between the Kingdom and Singapore and the development they have at all levels, expressing his country's keenness to strengthen these relations to serve the interests of both countries and people. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met yesterday at the headquarters of the Mission of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the UN. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Madagascar, Patrick Royalina. During the meeting, they discussed ways to enhance bilateral cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Madagascar in various fields that would serve the interests of both countries and people, in addition to exchanging views on a number of regional and international issues of common interest. The Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani met yesterday at the headquarters of the Kingdom of Bahrain's mission to the UN, the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Serbia, Nikola Slakovic, on the sidelines of the 76th session of the UN General Assembly in New York. During the meeting, they discussed the relations between both countries and ways of developing bilateral cooperation frameworks to meet common interests, in addition to a number of topics and issues of common interest on the regional and international arenas. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met yesterday at the headquarters of the Mission of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the UN in New York. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of the Republic of Sierra Leone, David Francis. During the meeting, they discussed relations of cooperation between both countries and ways to develop bilateral cooperation in various fields to serve common interests. The meeting was attended by the permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the UN in New York, Ambassador Jamal Faris al and the delegation accompanying the Foreign Minister. Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad met with Italy's Minister of Youth Policy Fabiana Dadon via video conference technology. During the meeting, they discussed ways of joint cooperation and exchange expertise in the youth field, in addition to emphasizing the importance of building an integrated work system between the two countries and the youth field. al muayyad also briefed the meeting on the most important initiatives and programs offered by Bahrain to the youth sector, in addition to the most prominent achievements made by the kingdom. For her part, the Italian minister lauded the fine historic relations linking the two friendly countries in various fields and their continuous development, mainly in youth cooperation. Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, has moved into full swing with its preparations to take part in the Expo 2020 Dubai, the largest global event in the Middle East with its national pavilion. The completed construction of Bahrain's pavilion bears the slogan, Density Weaves Opportunities and centers on the concept of density and emulates the natural and urban structural features of Bahrain. On October the 1st, the inauguration of the Al Bahar exhibition will take place, which is the first of the national pavilion at the Expo and is organized by the BACA in cooperation with the Bahrain Institute of Pearls and Gemstones, Danat. On this occasion, BACA President Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa noted the importance of seizing the opportunity to shed light on Bahrain's successes and civilizational accomplishments and promote it as a world destination for cultural production and promising opportunities. She said that the most important thing about Bahrain's participation in the Expo is the joint work between different parties in order to promote the kingdom's ancient cultural heritage. She also affirmed that the Al Bahar exhibition in the Bahrain National Pavilion introduces visitors coming from all over the world to the story of Bahrain with the sea since Dilmun civilization and the pearl trade economy until the registration of the pearling path in the city of Muharraq on the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Sheikh May added that the Kingdom's Pavilion will give all participants from government and private institutions, in addition to other partners, multiple opportunities to enhance Bahrain's position at all levels. The Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Supreme Council for the Environment President Dr. Mohamed bin Barak bin Dana held a meeting with the IAA Director General Rafael Grossi on the sidelines of the 65th session of the International Atomic Energy Agency General Assembly in Vienna, Austria. The meeting discussed cooperation and coordination between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the International Atomic Energy Agency and ways to enhance and develop them at all levels. The two sides also tackled the importance of exerting joint international efforts to ward off nuclear risks and threats and activate emergency plans. They, meanwhile, discussed urgent global issues related to the effects of climate change and ways of enhancing the role of peaceful uses of nuclear materials. For his part, the permanent representative to the International Atomic Energy Agency, Ambassador Dr. Yusuf Bouchiri, praised the statement issued by the GCC, which expressed concern about Iran's continued failure to fulfill its obligations and abuses by raising uranium enrichment rates and the need for it to return to full cooperation. They also stressed the need for negotiations on the Iranian nuclear file and any future negotiations to address issues related to Iran's destabilizing behavior in the region.
The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments announced the procedure for issuing Umrah and prayer permits in the Grand Mosque of Mecca and visiting the Prophet's Mosque in accordance with the directives issued by Saudi Arabia's Ministry of Hajj and Umrah. The ministry called on licensed Umrah operators and all citizens and residents to ensure registration on Muqim app and use Tawakkalna and Timarna apps to show their health status vaccinated out of receiving the Umrah permits through Tawakkalna app. The instructions coincide with the announcement of the start of the safe Umrah season for 1443 Hijri for GCC citizens. The Kingdom of Bahrain condemned the launch of two explosive laden drones by the terrorist Houthi militia towards the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in a cowardly terrorist attack targeting civilians, civilian facilities, and the security and stability of the country. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs reiterated Bahrain's unwavering solidarity with Saudi Arabia against all attempts threatening its security and safety. It also hailed the vigilance of the Saudi Air Defense Forces and their ability to intercept and destroy the drones. The Ministry stressed the importance of the international community to take measures against the terrorist Houthi militia and their acts, which constitute a violation of international human rights law and threaten security and stability in the region. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,162,976 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,109,327 had taken the second, and 276,995 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 734 with 82 recoveries, 62 registered new cases and no deaths. 29 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 28 were contacts of active cases and 5 were travel related. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.